So a lot of people are probably going to be cracking the champagne open tonight because the entire Thine Bros Entertainment whole thing has come to a close. And I definitely want to talk about this since this was a very big topic to talk about because I did a video on it like the other day talking about how I felt about the whole situation and pretty much giving my uh, like two cents on it and basically I'm going to read you the message that the Thine Bros themselves have uh, actually put in. Hello. We're here to apologize. We've realized we've built a system that could easily be used the wrong. We are fixing that. The reality that trademarks like these could be used to theoretically give companies, including our one, the power to police and control online videos is a valid concern. And though we can assert our intentions are pure, there's no way to prove them. We have decided to do the following thing. For assigned all our React trademarks and applications, because if you guys didn't know, they actually did have the trademark. A lot of people are saying like they're not trademarking the words React. They actually had like... Like the trademarks to like elders react and like kids react and like a bunch of react stuff. So a lot of people that were trying to defend them on that, that was blatantly false right there. They actually did have that and they weren't going to do it. Discontinued the React World program, which is the whole big thing where they were trying to get monetization on a lot of people doing reactions and a lot. And also as well, just to clarify as well, they have shown a lot of kind of disgust to a lot of people that actually do the same format. The, the main issue of the whole thing as well was like, they wasn't intending to take on reactions themselves, but the thing is, like, when you cut a trademark, those sort of things, that's kind of how it got into the situation. Like, and basically, that's what happened right there. They were trying to trademark these certain things because that's their main bread and butter. Like, elders react, teens react, even the big word, you know, react, react, well, like that. That was all there in the trademarks that were seen there. Release all past content ID claims. The concerns people have about React World are understandable and that people see a link between that and our past video takedowns. But those were mistakes from an earlier time. It makes perfect sense for people to distrust our motives here, but we are confident that our actions will speak louder than these words moving forward. This has been a hard week. Our plan is to keep making great content with the help of our amazing staff. Thank you for your time and hearing us out. Sincerely, Benny and Rathy Fine. This includes React, Kids React, Elders React, Lyric breakdown, etc. Please note it takes a while for the database to update, but the necessary paperwork has been filed. So basically, that is what's been happening. Like they they put all that stuff on there for you guys, like for React, Kids React, Elders React, like all that stuff that they copyright. All that is gone, all there. And I've got to say, I've actually saw a lot of messed up things on there. I definitely still think it's a shitty thing. Don't get me wrong. I still hate the fact that even try to do something this scummy. And honestly, this is one of the things that a lot of people have said. Either they're going to have to do a video to correct themselves, which they did an update. And that just backfired even more in their face. I believe at this point they've lost nearly, like, I want to say at least 200,000 in the million I haven't seen but I remember seeing a lot of people doing videos on the fact that they were actually unsubscribing to them. Personally I've never really cared to watch channels like this. I've never really cared the reactions. I've already gone enough about that enough so I won't waste your time about my utter hatred for most of the time with reaction stuff. It's honestly nothing too special at all. It's just people reacting on a TV just screen or just a camera and just uh, doing their reactions. Like that's just that's not entertainment for me. Me is like Someone putting hard work and effort into a content, talking about reviews, talking about anything, as long as it has some decency to it. So that's kind of the main reason. The fact of the matter is that the main reason that they actually backed out of this is to show that they could not stand any more of the actual hatred and stuff. They are losing their subscriber count. And honestly, I think this is the best move that they could do. They actually did apologize. Although, they didn't want to make themselves like, uh, seem like the bad guys. Like, we still believe that this would have been a good idea, but we can see what people were trying to say. Like, no, you got your ass, like, caught red-handed on this stuff, and you realized that you couldn't control the damn. This is probably one of the biggest blowouts that we've seen on a YouTube channel this big. And honestly, this has damaged their reputation for a lot of their fan base right there. I mean, if you've seen their latest videos and all that, they have got a bunch of, like, people, like, going crazy on their ass for it. And it's ridiculous. And honestly, there was an entire, like, a bunch of, like, live streams showing, like, their subscriber count going down. And I saw it for five minutes. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> this is, like, I think it's a little bit over much and all that. But then as well, like, you kind of get your comeuppance to trying to fuck people's, like, content over with that. I mean, I have no issue really with people doing kind of the same style like the whole main issue is that they were really upset with people doing their format but even still when you have this stuff like that it can be abused and it will be abused like that and even still people will find loopholes around this 
this this on and honestly like i don't feel bad at all i honestly think they did the i think they did the right thing they backed out they cancelled it they could have been assholes and continued on it or pro like either the way this all blow over but it just didn't and honestly i think they got their just deserved you know what i think it's a little bit fucked that people were like like actual live stream and their subs going down i think that's a little bit too much but the blowout on twitter on reddit all the comment sections all that even the dislikes i would even say they got their just deserves for that because it's ironic that they uploaded a video about using someone else's content, ahem, naming Netflix, and then you're trying to, like, copyright people as well. Like, I like doing a reaction now and then. I know friends that like to do reactions. They need to do it as their channel thing, one of their main things on there. So don't try and take people's, like, react like things away from them. And honestly, I think the Flying Brothers, they fucked up. You know what? At least they took this down. But that doesn't mean that this is the end of this matter. Oh, no. There will be people that will probably try and do something like this in the future. Don't think it's just the Flying Brothers. That, you know, we want a battle, but not a war. I feel like that's definitely... There are going to be corporates that are going to be doing... There was the whole big thing about like PlayStation trying to do the whole thing of Let's Play. Although I think that's more an advertising thing rather than actually just... Otherwise, trying to copyright Let's Play. That's how I think that went down. But it's like even the fact as well... It's, I feel like there's going to be a while until we see a situation like this happen and a lot of people are getting their details on it. You know, a lot of people being local, even the person that I actually heard this news from, Alpha Omega Sin, and I agree with like pretty much the entirety of this video. I and mean, even I've heard so other people trying to like more try to think around it like with a more positive perspective and even as well trying to be a mediator between the two. Like personally, it was a bad idea from the start. They shouldn't have done that. They got caught red-handed trying to be money-grabbing and it was so... Honestly, like, I know there's a lot of fans of the Flying Brothers, but honestly, trying to be a fanboy and trying to defend them just because you like their content instead of looking over that. Like, if my, one of my friends or one of my people that I looked up to for a very long time was trying to do something like this, I would call them out on it or that. And it even still, as much as it would hurt me as, like, being their friend or someone like, or appreciate their channel, I would have think done the same thing. You know, that's kind of hard to go by. That's just a one man's word on the internet. But even so, to see that this, you know, this chapter has been closed now, it's kind of actually a little bit, I don't know, relaxing, I'd like to say. I'm finally glad it's kind of over and done with, but I'm sorry that I got, I, when I saw, like, the, just the dislikes, where it was, like, what, a quarter of a million now, like, on their videos, on both of them, I think 300,000 on, like, the update, I was like, yeah, this is what happens. You don't piss off your community. You don't piss off youtube in general you don't piss off fans you don't piss off the people you want to that's what you get and they're gonna have to live with this for a very long while i don't know if they're gonna like li uh, live this over for a while but i think they definitely calmed a lot of people's anger but that's all my uh, like opinion on the whole matter um uh, this was a little bit more the weirder one to talk about since this was a lot more karma i think about it more than i actually did in my previous video and i think i did go a little bit too aggressive with the whole fact that i was saying about it. even still like, I think we won a day today, and I'm saying that as just, like, as a content provider myself, like, I love doing what I would do, and I would absolutely lose my mind if I wasn't able to do YouTube, or I'd lose my factor monetization, that is a big part, it helps me keep going, I do this mainly because I want to talk to you guys and give my opinions on fact, but to be the truth told, it does help to have a little bit of change on the side to keep doing the content, also gives you incentive, I think that's a definite plus and all that. And a lot of people actually do this for a living, and I have friends that do this for a living. And if they had their stuff taken away from them, then yeah, there you go. Like, that would absolutely affect them and hurt them. And all that, to know that you put in your hard work on there, and just the some greedy bastards trying to take it. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope you, I was very, like, influential with this one. And honestly, yeah, I guess the you guys and all that, well, I guess technically on our side against it, we can all have, a, like, a little glass and put it up and cheer today. Because, you know, I guess this was a battle won today. But the question is, will the war be? Thank you very much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.